Youth athletics are a big deal in Abilene, and they're getting even bigger. An expansion project is in the works, but this time it's to add playing fields outside. Multiple sports fields could soon be ready for the athletes near the Abilene Zoo and Grover Nelson Park, bringing more competition locally and from across the state. This morning, the Abilene City Council approved the proposal for the Abilene Youth Sports Authority. But as KRBC's Miriam Chamberlain will tell us, they've got a big budget and a tight deadline to make it happen. Abilene City Council voting in favor of expanding the Abilene Youth Sports Authority facility. We're thankful, one, that they, they see the vision of, of what youth sports can become and uh, give the, our, our kids here an opportunity to play locally. Offering them to construct flat fields on the grounds of Grover Nelson Park with a 40-year lease for just a dollar per year. It also provides us an opportunity to get teams from all over um, the state of Texas to come in experience Abilene. So it's a great day for Abilene. AYSA's Executive Director Director Brandon Osborne says the field's potentially hosting soccer, football, lacrosse, and even rugby games, helping Abilene bring in young athletes and their families for weekend tournaments. For every youth sports tournament that brings visitors from out of town, the visitor will spend $200 per athlete per day. Abilene Convention and Visitors Bureau's Vice President Robert Lopez says not only will this expansion generate revenue for our local economy, but also save our local teams money with travel costs. It's very hard to find 10 fields all in one location. Uh, and it's hugely beneficial for not just visitors and people who want to host tournaments, uh, but also uh, locally as well. Osborne says the total funds for this project will require AYSA to raise $10 million in 12 months. Now it's time for us to get to work. And if they succeed, the city will then contribute $5 million to establish the fields. In Abilene, Miriam Chamberlain, KRBC, Abilene's Local News. Thank you, Miriam. Well, the clock starts now for AYSA. As Osborne says, this project is one they're looking forward to continuing to bring in more people to the key city.